have a question related to your application, chances are someone already thought of that question before. IRCC compiles the answers to frequently asked questions in Help Center. So there's a high probability that you can find the answers here in the Help Center. Let's search, can I work while studying? Here you can see an answer from IRCC in layman's term, easier to understand. And they also provide additional information. Just follow the link and read along. Now, if you cannot find the answer to your question, maybe because it's too specific to your own application, you can ask um, IRCC themselves by using IRCC web form. As a DIYer, you should know this golden tip. Even if you think that you have the same experience as another applicant, there are some parts of it that is different as well. So you should learn how to spot the difference and act accordingly. And what better way to do that rather than to ask the expert, ask IRCC themselves. Here are some scenarios where you can take advantage of this web form to ask IRCC directly. Just go over this list to see if your request is here. Scrolling down, you'll see that this is a web-based form where you need to select the type of inquiry and provide applicant information. This is because it is a documented evidence which can be linked or traced back to your application. In that way, IRCC can get back to you with an answer that is tailored for your situation. We will refer to this web form multiple times in this video series, so take note of this website. Another pro tip for you guys, while that IRCC web form is great, there's another option that you can do. So the IRCC web form that I showed you is uh, the one that caters for all the applications to Canada. So imagine the volume of inquiries that they are receiving each day. But if you know that you applied to a specific visa office, there is an IRCC web form dedicated for that specific visa office. Here's how you'll get there. Remember this link, Visa Offices Outside Canada. Choose your preferred country and visa office. Here in Contact Us section, you'll see the case-specific web form link. Click that, scroll down to tell us more. Answer the questions and then go to the web form. So here you'll see this is the IRCC web form for Manila. Now you can bookmark this page for your convenience so you don't have to go through all the steps again. Going back to the contact us section, there is an email address that you can use to email them directly. Not sure how fast you're going to get a reply from them, but it's probably worth the try. Also the visa office general contact information. 